What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and this is how to get the Boolean Gemini Exotic Scout Rifle in Destiny. And we're also going to go over some gameplay and my first impressions while using this gun at the end of the video. So let's get started with how to actually acquire this weapon. Well, this weapon is a quest reward. The actual quest that awards this weapon is insanely easy to do, but it's the fact that you actually have to get to the point where you're given this quest that is causing some players some trouble. So the actual quest that you acquire this weapon from is called Lost and Found, and that's given out by Petra in the Vestigian Outpost. Like, a lot of people are just going back and forth to the tower, but it's definitely worth going to the outpost and in the reef and checking out what's there, because you definitely want to be accepted quests from the characters located there as well. Now for the lost and found quest, all you need to do is go and kill Taken and Hive in three different locations. You just have to kill 50 of them uh, on patrol mode. Insanely easy to do. It might take a little bit of time, but again, you're just farming extremely basic enemies. The next thing you need to do is go and kill bosses that spawn in the court of orcs to get a lost item. Now, I actually got this from killing my first boss in the Court of Orcs, and I was only utilizing a tier 1 ruin, so you can do this on the absolute easiest difficulty. And again, killed one boss, got the item, went back to Petra, and she gave me an exotic scout rifle. Insanely easy, guys. But again, the hard part is actually getting to this quest, so how do you get the Lost and Found quest? Well, here's where things get a little complicated and there's still some unknown information within the community and people aren't quite sure how certain things work. But in any event, it seems that you do have to be rank 3 with the Queen to even have a chance of getting this quest. You also have to complete the first quest that Petra gives you called the Taken War Petra. Now, there are several different parts of this quest, starting with the Taken Assault Earth. All you need to do here is gather materials dropped by Fallen and Taken Fallen, and those can be acquired killing them in any location. But you also need to kill Taken Champions and collect some sort of object. This is going to be a common theme for a lot of the parts of this quest. Now, the Taken Champions are simply from public events. Like, you're in the areas that it actually describes in the quest. For example, for the Earth one, you can go to the Divide, and you wait around until it says that, uh, you know, a Taken presence has loomed over the land, and then you know that the public event has started. Now, once it's started, you have to kill the three loot lieutenants as quickly as possible. Once you kill the three lieutenants, what that's going to do is spawn the Taken Champion. Killing these will have a chance to drop the object. I always got the object when killing the very first Taken Champion. You can actually kill the same Taken Champion more than once, so you can just wait in the exact same area, then the event occurs, you kill the Taken Champion, and then you can just wait in the exact same area again and do the same, and that's going to count for two out of two. It's next going to take you to the Taken Assault Venus, where you do the exact same thing. You go to the areas outlined in the quest description, wait for the public event to occur, and kill the Taken Champion, which will drop the object, and that's going to continue into the Taken Assault Mars as well. And once you're done killing Taken Champions on Mars and getting some random item, that is going to complete the overall quest for Petra. You're going to get a bunch of experience, and also you're now going to have the option to do bounties for her, which is going to rank her up some more. So if you're not rank 3, that's what you need to do. Do that quest, and then you have access to bounties, and then you can get her to rank 3. This is where things get a little complicated, because after completing this quest, she didn't offer me any sort of other quest. She did not offer me the lost and found quest, which is where you actually get the Boolean Gemini. However, someone who did offer me a quest was Varix, and he offered me the Wolves of Mars quest. This is kind of where the debate within the Destiny community occurs. A lot of people are confused on whether or not you actually need to do this quest, the Wolves of Mars. Now, I did this entire quest, and I was not given the Lost and Found quest. I went back and checked Petra at a later time. Lo and behold, she had the quest. 
I also know that for a fact it happened to two people I know that they were on the Wolves of Mars and yet hadn't completed it yet and Petra gave them the lost and found quest. That proves that you don't actually need to complete the Wolves of Mars quest in order to get the Boolean Gemini uh, quest from Petra. Although it still is up in the air whether or not you need to be a certain amount of the way through or you need to have at least accepted it. So again, this is where a lot of the confusion occurs. Personally, I don't think you need to do the Wolves of Mars quest. It just levels up Varix. It doesn't even level up Petra. But if you want to be safe and do the Wolves of Mars quest anyways, here's how to do it. The very first thing you need to do is tedious as hell. You need to go into patrol mode and simply farm Fallen on three different locations in the Cosmodrome, on Mars, and on Venus. This is very tedious. You're going to have to kill a lot of Fallen on these three different locations. Uh, the only real tip I have for you guys is that when there's a public event occurring, maybe even kind of go to, you know, Destiny Public Event Tracker and look at where these public events are occurring on these locations. Because if you can get to like a Warsat or a Extraction Team a public event, there's going to be a lot of Fallen present to kill. And that's just going to up your numbers. Now the next part of this quest is hunting the Archon Priest on Mars. Now funny enough, I actually posted an entire video on this because before the DLC came out, you could find these wolves on Mars and they certainly weren't supposed to be there this early. But in any event, here's what they're actually for. So you go to the Rubicon Wastes and you simply wait around until it says the wolves are prowling. You can see the location I'm at to wait for them to spawn, and they always spawn in this same exact location. There's just some dregs and a servitor. Kill them, and kill the rest of the Fallen reinforcements that come when the ship arrives, and then it's actually going to say that the Fallen are defeated and that they leave, but that's going to be when the Archon Priest boss arrives, and then simply killing him will complete this step. Now the next few steps of this quest are going to unlock new missions. Simply doing these missions will complete uh, these steps. Like you have to do the one mission called A New Den, then you have to do a mission called Knock Knock, both of which are pretty simple to do. And the last step in this quest is you'll get one more mission to do called the Prime's Path. Uh, this can be a kind of a challenging boss fight so you might want some teammates uh, for this section. But in any event, once you kill the giant servitor boss, this will complete the Wolves on Mars quest for Varix. He'll give you a purple class item and send you on your way. At this point, Petra may or may not have the lost and found quest. Again, for me, she didn't have it. I completed the Wolves on Mars quest and she did not have the Lost and Found quest available for me. So I just went along my business and I think I, the next day I came back just to see if maybe she would have the quest and lo and behold, she did. And I want to reiterate that although most people end up doing the Wolves on Mars quest to get the Boolean Gemini, I don't believe that is required. But again, you know, better safe than sorry. If you're in the position where you're rank 3 in Petra and you've done the Taken War Petra uh, quest and you've done the Wolves on Mars quest and you're simply waiting for her to give you the Lost and Found quest, the best advice I have for you is that simply increase your interactions with Petra. Try to level her up, do her bounties, talk to her, go back and check in what she's doing uh, every once in a while, and you'll probably just end up getting the quest. Now let's go over the actual gun. What are my first impressions with the Boolean Gemini? Now the first thing about the Scout Rifle is that it comes with some pretty amazing perks that if spawned with any sort of purple Scout Rifle you would be very happy to get. Aggressive Ballistics, Unflinching, and Perfect Balance, those are all awesome perks. But the exotic perks are what set this gun apart. And it actually has two exotic perks, one called One Way and another called Or Another. One way increases your agility on a headshot kill stacks up to three times and or another increases your armor on a body shot kill stacks up to three times as well. Now when using the one way perk the general consensus between me and the other members of my fire team who had this gun was that when you don't have it you kind of do notice that you run a little bit slower but it's pretty slight it's definitely not a substantial bonus you'll really have to go looking for this bonus to actually find it, it again it's not as substantial as I would have hoped. You can see here this gameplay of me running with the times 3 bonus and it kind of slowly wears down and you really don't notice almost any decrease in my speed. 
The or another perk is definitely a little more interesting because an increase to armor is definitely more useful, just increasing your survivability. However, there's also some problems to this perk as well. Firstly, I have no idea the actual degree of this increase. It's going to be a lot of testing to determine how much extra armor you get from this bonus. Now, I didn't even really notice too much of an increase to survivability. That being said, even a subtle increase is good, and it would really have to be like a substantial, like massive survivability increase for me to be saying, yeah, I totally noticed, you know, with this, I was getting one shot by this boss, and then I had the armor bonus and then I wasn't, it was incredible. So it's very, very hard to notice an increase with this perk. Now the other problem with this perk is that when you're using a scout rifle, you're obviously going for headshots. You're going to end up getting a lot more precision kills than body kills. And you don't really want to be specifically going for body shot kills, that's going to lower your damage output. However, you do end up just getting this bonus activated simply by playing the game. No matter how good you are, you're going to get body shots every once in a while, and there also are enemies like Shanks that don't have any sort of precision a bonus spot and Minotaurs as well, so killing those enemies will actually still get you the bonus, and you're not really playing any different than you normally would, which is awesome. Now overall, if you just think of this scout rifle as a really good scout rifle with excellent, excellent perks that also comes with the benefit of either granting extra agility or extra armor, the overall package when you look at it that way, yeah, it's definitely a good gun to have. However, when compared to the other exotics in the game, this is nowhere near as useful or as unique. It is a very solid gun, however, and it spawns with quite a high attack at 290, so I'm sure a lot of you will still find it worth going after. But in the grand scheme of things, this is kind of a mediocre gun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please remember to rate and share the video, it really helps me out. And also, if you want to see Destiny content similar to this, please remember to subscribe. If you want to get in touch with me, the best way is on Twitter. That's going to be linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can follow as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.